Alright, sorry about that. That was my telephone. Someone called me, so um, yeah, I will edit that together and we'll pretend nothing ever happened and let's continue talking to Mac about the old times. Um, yeah, let's let's choose this. About how half the world's been destroyed and yet this place is still standing. Luck, that's what it is. Could all change though if Mara has her way. You know about her? I know stories from the captain's house. And I've seen strange things from my tower at night. Be careful on the beach below my tower. I've seen sunken ones there. I want to hear about the captains. Tell me more about Admiral Alvarez. Most feared and infamous pirate of them all, he was at one time. Built this place as a safe haven and trading point for all pirates. A great man, the Admiral. A great, great man. And it's all about the creed with him. Break it and you'll have him to answer to. I hear he's the stubborn type. And why not? Look at everything his stubbornness achieved here. It's him and the Creed that's kept the other captains in line all this time. What do you think of Captain Slain? Young to be a pirate captain. About as young as you. Slain's got the Admiral to thank for all that. As a lad, he was the lone survivor of one of the Admiral's raids. He tricked his way onto another captain's ship and then started making a name for himself. He's a slippery one, and causes no end of trouble to the Admiral. Tell me more about Captain Crow. He was always ambitious. Not too bright, but always ambitious. A bloodthirsty bastard, too. Striking fear into all he encountered. Spent a lot of time in northern waters, scrapping with the Inquisition. It's the poor bastards that sailed with him I always feel sorry for. I killed Captain Crow. Had he gone as mad as the stories say? Well, he did try to summon an Earth Titan. But you stopped him? With some help. You did good, lad. He had to be stopped. The job's not over yet, though. Anything else you can tell me that I don't already know? Oh, plenty. About Mara, Captain Garcia, or even Captain Steelbeard. But all this talking's making me hungry. Uh, I don't suppose... I help you get something to eat and you keep talking. Aye, smart lad. What do you want me to do? Rick, the storehouse master, was supposed to bring me a package, but he must have forgotten. He's a good lad, but a bit scatterbrained. I'll just wait here while you go see what happened to my package. All right, but these stories better be worth it. Oh, all right. Let's do this very quickly. Get back to Rick. Get a package of mead, I suppose. Uh, where, where was the exit? There we go. Rick. Old Max waiting for his delivery. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about him. I'll get right to it. No need, I'll do it. Fine by me. Okay, here's his week's rations. Tell him from me, it won't happen again. No problem. Alright, and back to Max Tower. Very quickly. Oh. Apparently, actually, time does elapse while we're quick traveling. That's a bummer. That's a real bummer. Mag? Oi! Who's there? It's me. Here's your package. Rick really did forget about you. It won't happen again. Well, it's here now, thanks to you. So, how about those stories? Ah, yes. Where did I leave off? I want to hear about the captains. 
Tell me about Captain Steelbeard. Steelbeard? Now, there's a bloody pirate and a half. What pirate wouldn't have wanted to sail under his banner? His old ship, the Eleanor, was the most feared sight on the seas of the old empire. Bloody terrified of him they were, and with good reason. They sank the Eleanor in the end, but old Steelbeard survived, swam back to land, and fell in among a smuggler's camp. How he managed to get out of there is still a mystery. Maybe the Admiral knows. Him and Steelbeard have always been close. What do you know about Captain Garcia? I know he's a greedy, merciless dog. Supposed to have got where he is today by strangling his old captain. A good loot finder. Supposed to have a pile of it buried somewhere in the Southern Seas. Ended up in prison here last time he was in town and bought his way out. You ever cross his path, you best be wary of him. Alright. About Mara. What do you know about Mara? You really want to know? All right. She's ancient and powerful. And beautiful, too. And more wicked and evil than you can ever imagine. She was imprisoned for centuries until the coming of the first Titans. And all the time she was trapped, she was plotting her revenge on the world. And now that she's free again, She's carrying out her revenge. How did Mara escape? Then you don't know the legend of the Water Temple? It's supposed to hold the most magnificent of treasures. Well, naturally pirates are gonna go looking for it, aren't they? Go on. Well, Admiral Alvarez, he got the four captains together. They hatched a plan to carry out one of the biggest raids ever, looting the Water Temple. Too bad they accidentally freed Mara while they were about it. Yeah, too bad. How can Mara be stopped? I heard a story recently about a young lad. He was washed up on a volcanic island as a castaway. Oh. But the island was threatened by a fire titan that was trying to break out of the volcano. This young lad, he fixed the problem, though. I'm wondering if Mara couldn't be fixed the same way. I thought everything beyond the Southern Islands was destroyed by the titans. Aye, but not the stories, my friend. Not the stories. I guess so. You understand what I'm saying? I think so. Alright. Very good. Learned a lot of useful stuff here. But he's not our helmsman. Great. Great. Now what? It's none of those Fisher guys. I'm miles too drunk. And we didn't really have the option for Butch. Must be here. He must be in the harbor town. Somewhere. Oh, they've all gone to bed now. Uh, let's have a look around. Maybe there's still someone around that I missed. Maybe. Maybe there's someone in the um, in the tavern upstairs where Scarlet used to sleep during the day. Maybe. Wait, Chick. Didn't you sit over Pirate here? Pirate captains, then. No, wait. Wh which which one was it I, I was talking to? to you? I was talking to you. You're you're a slain's man. So who are you? Not without steel beard to leave. Hey there. Hey there, yourself, Captain. Who who's this? This is a new face. I don't think I've I've seen this face before. How's the rum? Good. Spencer's stuff is the best your money will buy. Yeah. Whatever. I tasted this beer. You're a sailor? Helmsman. Big ships, <gasps> small ships, you name them, I've sold them. 
Any chance you're looking for a helmsman? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I've already got one. What? Any good, is he? Hello. I am looking for a helmsman pretty desperately. Well, so far we've always gone. She does a pretty good job. So, um, Patty's my helmsman or what? Like I said, she does a good job. But maybe I could do an even better one. I'm a fine helmsman. I wouldn't disappoint you. I'm sticking with the one I've got, thanks. You can't blame me for wanting to feel the wind in my face again. I may have a job for you. Grand. Got rid of that lady helmsman, have you? No. Well, it better not be anything fucking stupid like wanting me to crew with Slane. Oh. Oh. Funny you should say that. That nut is not shy about killing off his own men. No way would I sign up with that madman. Oh, come on. Is there any way I can convince you to join Slane's crew? I'm not setting foot on that ship. Scared, are you? I've been on more raids than I can remember. Can you say the same? Well... First, you've got to show me what you're made of. Oh, boy. We're going to have a little contest, you and me. Oh. A contest? And if you win, I'll join Slane's crew. And if you win? Then I get to beat the crap out of you for trying to palm me off on Slane. All right. Planning to run off, were you? I should have guessed. You ain't ducking out of anything here. Well, come on. I'm, I want... Can I save? I can't save. Bloody hell. All right. Save it. I'm in. Grand. Want to know the rules? What do we do in this contest? First, you try and beat me in a fight. Then you try and beat me in a drinking contest. And finally, we see you can shoot the most balls. Got it? All right. Are you any good? You'll soon find out. I can drink any bastard here under the table. Sounds like a challenge. Cocky little bastard, ain't ya? Yeah. I. Right. Let's go then. Right, here we go. <laughs> 